Ah yes, America, the land of the free, the home of the brave, and a place where we love to blow stuff up. But why is it that no matter how smart you are, once you have a firework in your hand, you become the dumbest person on the planet? Every year without fail, people are given an opportunity to shoot off fireworks in a safe and effective and enjoyable manner. But do they do that? Heck no, of course they don't do that. No, this video is not for me to tell you why people get dumber when they have fireworks. But I will say this video is for us to watch a bunch of people firing off fireworks in the dumbest way possible and laugh at them. So let's do that. Now when I think about a wedding, I don't think about fireworks. I think about my wedding. I think about other people's weddings. There were no fireworks. If you want to shoot off fireworks at your wedding, I mean, that seems like a perfectly fine thing to do as long as that wedding is outside. So as you can see, they're shooting off fireworks, these little flares off the stage and the roof catches on fire. So now everyone's freaking out. This server guy is trying to throw a bottle of water up there. Like that's going to do anything. That's not going to do anything. The whole roof is engulfing in flames. I'm already, if I'm there, I'm already on the street out the building, but everyone seems to be taking their sweet time out of the building here. Why are we taking our time? Can we speed up the process? The roof is literally getting engulfed in flames right now. What, what is your first thought? When you see the wedding of your dreams, this looks like an expensive wedding and it's just burning down. I do not want to know how much money that costs. And then there goes the roof. The roof is gone. I want to know who the event planner was for this wedding. And I want to know the point where they said, oh yeah, fireworks shooting off into the sky towards the ceiling. Yeah, very good idea. I like that. And I want to know who the guy who has the camera is because while everyone's wedding is burning burning to the ground, a situation where your happiest moment is turned into one of the worst moments of your life. This guy's laughing with his phone out. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm getting such a good shot. This is what you get for not inviting me to your birthday party last month. <laughs> He's just filming and laughing like he's shooting something for America's Funniest Home Videos. Also, the sense of urgency at this wedding is appalling. And I know it happened quickly, but the building was completely on fire. And there's still people in their nice dresses and suits walking slowly to the exit. In the event of a fire, follow Ryan's helpful tips for survival. The first step when there's a fire is to get as far away from the fire as quickly as possible. Step two on Ryan's survival survival list if you come across a fire is if you catch on fire, roll on the ground and then pull your phone out and start recording because the cameraman never dies. And those are the only two steps I have actually. I'm Ryan and I'm, I'm still alive. I haven't caught on fire yet. So this next family pretty much lit their entire firework stash at the exact same time. So this first firework doesn't even get lit correctly. That's like the one first step. Make sure it goes in the air. This one does not go in the air. It's straight sideways and it's going to ignite the entire stash. Keep an eye on the van because this entire stash of fireworks blows up and everyone's running for their lives. That van is gonna need a full replacement. Look at all those fireworks going off. Oh my goodness. The thing that really wraps this clip together is the guy at the beginning yelling run, run! jokingly when he lit the first firework and it seemed like they were prepped for like a whole day out there like a nice picnic but I guess that's the ultimate firework your van blew up. This next clip is a dog trying to eat these people's firework and I have no idea why you'd bring your dog outside for a firework show. Dogs are either completely scared of fireworks or they want to be right in the middle of them and this dog was one of the ones that wanted to be right in the middle of it. Tiger! Get. Tiger! Tiger! This kid thinks, what is the best thing to do to get my dog off this firework right now? And he straight up kicks the dog square in the face, which I don't think is the best method. <laughs> this dog's out here literally trying to catch fireballs. Look at this guy. Look at him. He's, he's happy. He embraces the flame. Good thing when this dog created this character, he created it with a bunch of fire resistance. Otherwise, he'd have horrible burns. This whole situation is solved by putting the dog inside the house. There's no quicker way to make 4th of July a forgettable experience than having your dog eat a firework and having it go off inside of them. Your kids won't want to pop a firework ever again. Grandpa comes up like, Now you see, kids, I told you fireworks weren't safe. Now I get people have all sorts of crazy fetishes and kinks and all sorts of weird stuff I don't want to know anything about. But what is it with people wanting to stick fireworks up their butt every single time they have a chance. The percentage of videos that were people sticking fireworks up their butt was way bigger than I expected. When I was trying to find clips for this video, I like my life, I enjoy it, and I'd like to live it as long as possible. You're gonna never find me fooling around with a firework straight up my butt. Put that one in the only if it's donating a million dollars to charity bucket. But for some reason, people just have to stick fireworks up their butt. And every single time they find out why you shouldn't do that, for some reason, this guy decided to do it upside down. Don't ask me why he decided to do it upside down, because 
now not only are you going to regret your decision, you now can't move as quickly if you regret your decision because you're upside down in a weird position. He hasn't felt heat like that on his butt crack since the last time he ate spicy wings. Do you call firework shooters fire workers? Are they fire workers? They're working with fireworks. They're fire workers, technically, right? These are the thoughts that are in my head 24-7. Whether you like shoving fireworks in your butt, watching fireworks shows with your family, or popping off fireworks yourself, please don't be dumb with fireworks this year. Let's make an effort to stop being stupid with fireworks. At the time of this video, we're around the 4th of July right now. Be sure when you're around these fireworks, please be safe. I'll see you guys soon with my next video, but if you have a minute, check out the video that the YouTube algorithm is recommending to you. It thinks you'll like it, and it's pretty smart, so I'd trust it. Until then, we'll see you next time, hopefully not blown up by fireworks. Bye-bye.